All right, well, welcome back to another video. And uh, today I just wanted to uh, have a quick little, little pipe chat with you here before we get into the painting stuff. And uh, this is what I'm working on. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is the daughter of the shop that I did some paintings for. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna gonna finish that. Uh, I'm also working on this little little tiny one. started that one tonight but you know let me light this thing up here it's uh it's almost four in the morning oh my gosh wow I was up I'm up late hmm. I think tomorrow I'm going to be buying an easel and uh I'm going to buy one of these sort of sketch field easels. Yeah. I was, uh, I was away from my, my room, and I actually didn't have my palette knife with me. And when I went to the art shop where I was, they wanted to sell, you know, a whole... They wanted to sell a whole uh, set of palette knives. Yeah. That's one. That's one thing that's annoying about these big box type art stores. You know, they package everything up, and a lot of things you can't buy individually. So, but. So, what else? Oh, I rode a train for 18 hours. Maybe I'll put some footage in of the train. I might do that, yeah. Uh, I couldn't sleep because the only seats that were available available were the uh, sort of the bench type seats. So where I was, there was four people in the little booths on each side, and that was nearly impossible. So I had to go find some floor to lay down on and behind some seat. And uh, it's quite it's quite dirty that floor, so but I had no choice. I had to stretch my legs. So it's a corn cob pipe. Is this is actually an original Meerschaum pipe, and I think this is from uh, Wisconsin, maybe, but it's from the Midwest, uh, USA, and uh, it's got a little blend of uh, tobacco here. You know the actually the reason I got into Tobacco pipes was um, it was a guy. It was a guy that I had seen somewhere. I heard his name, a painter. I think he's from Singapore. Let's see if I can remember his name. Oh, something Lee Fong Fong Lee or something like that. Anyway, I've seen a few photos of him, and 
you know, a lot of painters just smoke a pipe. But he had a like a church warden with a long stem. And I just thought to myself, hey, that's really cool. Smoking a pipe while you're painting, you know? And I and then where I was, I kept seeing this guy sitting outside of this vegan restaurant smoking his pipe and practically smoking all all day. I mean, you know. So there were some pipes at the shop, but you know, just sort of Chinese stuff. So I went up to him, because I also ate at his restaurant. And I asked him, I said, you know, do you know where I can, maybe you have, you have a pipe I could buy or something. And he said, come back in a couple of days. I came back and he gave me my first pipe, which was a, called a bulldog. And that's the straight, straight stem. I left it somewhere in a hotel, I don't know, behind a painting that I did. And um, never to be seen again. So, Okay, I'm going to roll the video. See you next time. Thanks again. So yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just painting a little bit of painting right now. All right, so since I'm back, back to my room here, um, I've got a uh, nice tobacco pipe here. I'm gonna have some of this blend that I made up. And um, yeah, I had a nice week. Uh, oops, are we still recording? Yeah, I had a nice week down at the beach, and it's pretty nice. Uh, had a nice room, not too expensive. Had a maid every day come in, clean the room. I mean, I wasn't that messy anyway, but... Uh, anyways... So I'm going to smoke this thing up, and then we're going to... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, let's continue here. Now, I feel like... I feel like my dimensions are all wrong, but... I feel like this forehead is just too long. I feel like the eyebrows need to go up a bit. Kind of like that, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the eyebrows. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
All right. Well, that is much better. It's an improvement. I'm just kind of blocking things in.
All right, well, I noticed that the lips are still not, not angling downward, so it's really, they're really coming down at an angle. Okay, just adding a little bit of color here. The background. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Getting set up here. We'll get back into the uh, get back into the painting mood here in a second, and uh, get this photo that I had.
Okay, everybody. <clears throat> All right, I'm back at it. And I do feel like, I do feel like that this, uh, that this uh, is more representative of of the photo, but I do feel like there's something going on over here near the mouth. Maybe we need a little bit more Keeping in mind, on this one, I am painting on a piece of paper, actually. Okay, I'm going to grab some of this little red, and I think I need a smaller brush. By the way, this is where uh, s standing up is preferred because uh, yeah, standing standing up is preferred rather than the setup I have currently, but I will, I will remedy that situation. In fact, tomorrow, tomorrow I will be going to buy a new, a new easel. Okay, so we're going to line up the nostril. The nostril is... Now... Uh, we're going to have to line up the septum. Septum is this part of the nose here. Septum with the... Uh, with the, uh, the mouth. Line that up and see the thing is is you could put in that dark, but I kinda I kinda don't want to do that because um, I just want to stick with my lighter colors for right now and just get everything set where I want it to be.
right, let's get started here. I'm back and I had some had some paintings in my room that were not not finished. And uh, this is one of them. Um, it's kind of oh, this is bad. This brush is not good. Can't use that brush. Try that one. Okay, so looks pretty clean. Now, what I realize here is that the nose is actually more to the left. Now, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to attempt now to fix that. So the nose actually you know what I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take out that whole nose there I just want to see, just want to see the angle. Um, yeah, there might even, oh, this definitely has to come out for now. And then this, that's going to be closer over to here. Yeah. Put some of that brown hair in there. Anyways, I may have mentioned that this uh, this is the, the daughter of the owner of the cafe that I did some paintings for, and uh, I haven't seen the cafe recently, but I think they they hung up some of my some of my paintings, so. And uh, in exchange, in exchange, they gave me some free, free food, which was really nice. So I guess you could say I was working for, working for my dinner there. And, um, you know, this needs to be wider, I see here. This whole this whole coming around a little bit wider.
but you can see the eye is a little bit too too closed, too narrow. Got to change that. Uh, small brush, where are you? Got a few small brushes here. Let's try to do the I'm going to turn on some music to soothe the savage beast. Uh, one of my favorite pieces, which is a minor, 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 minor. This one here. Hopefully you can hear that. What's going on? This is the Barry Manilow, the Barry Manilow song. Uh, Barry Manilow did a, um, Barry Manilow did kind of a copy of this song. Could it be magic, I think it's called. Oh, painting, painting, painting. Just, gosh, practice, practice, practice. Never, never satisfied. Not satisfied with that eye. Just... The position of the mouth is wrong, 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 Gina. Well, it's been an interesting week. You know what? I'm just going to take the whole eye out. You know, let's. Let's just be brave and uh, and try to 
try to do this right. It's a bit of an optical illusion, isn't it? This, the way that this the way that this face is turning this way. Um, Set the eyebrows also. See, this is this is what happens when um, when you don't have the uh, like the grid, the grid method or whatever. Just really gotta get your measurements. The mouth is sort of slightly that way, see? Can you see that? showing you that you can see for yourself on the photo but um, I'm gonna lighten up that lighten up the nose If you can see that triangle, sort of this triangle. Oops. It's white. Anyways, I was saying that uh, there's this this triangle. But we have to get the, we have to get her, um, her mouth. That's a little better. Ah, that seems to work. Okay, now we're going to, a little bit of red over here. There, that's, that's a little better, yeah. Okay. Now, it gets tempting here to do a little bit of extracurricular activity and uh, just work on the hat for a minute as something different to do. Of course, I got to lighten, lighten that up. It's a light gray. Oops.
kind of like that, actually. <laughs> no. I mean, you know, that's a little bit of artistic, artistic, artistic license. Sort of put this weird, weird hat. Zoom in, and I'm going to work a little bit on the eyebrows for a minute. Cleaning off my small brush. So, yeah, we've got these... We've got these little hairs in here. Um, crisscross, crisscross. Oops, see what I just did. That's okay, I can deal with that later. So these are just put in uh, these are just made up of little lines and let's get a little closer here. I think my eyebrow is a little bit too big. Then we want to be getting into that Nike, just do it type of a curve. Um, by the way, I, I know this sounds crazy, but a little bit of a little story. I actually. I actually met the woman who created the the Nike Just Do It um, uh, saying. Just Do It was created by this woman named Jody Foster, and. Uh, I actually became friends with her. She worked for Nike for a while and told me over lunch that she was the one who originated that phrase. So, I don't know. That's what she said. You could probably do a search and see if that's true or not. Anyways, it's coming along, coming along. But I am tempted to just, for fun, do something, do something with the, with the background color, maybe. What can we do? Not, not gray. This is turning into gray. Sort of an interesting green. Uh, but I just want to make it pop a little bit more with some kind of color. Something. Uh, maybe it is that kind of brown. I don't know. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the green works. Yeah, I kind of like it. I do kind of like that. Although, yeah, it seems to work. Try it on a little bit more here. Forget what I did. I did the blue. Yeah, a little bit of yellow. That's kind of a standard green, isn't it? But... Now it's now it's getting a little bit darker. Well, I kind of like it. Maybe a little bit of very varying colors. Yeah, that's a little bit better contrast. I just want to bring it out a little bit more. So, I'm going to stop there for today. Got to get some sleep, and uh, thanks for being here, and see you next time.